Hello everyone, on this video I'll be discussing everything that you have to know about the Scream Halloween special that's airing this month. On this video, I will be revealing the air date, I'll be giving you some details on the story, I'll be explaining some of the characters, and I'll be giving my personal thoughts on the possibility of there being a season 3. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time, without further ado, let's begin. Several days ago, the Halloween special air date was revealed. It's going to be airing on Tuesday, October 18th on MTV. It's going to be airing a week from today. The Halloween special will reveal everything that has been left unanswered in Season 2. So according to some websites, the Halloween special takes place 8 months after the end of Season 2. Emma is still recovering from the incident and is trying to move on in her life. Stavo and Noah have teamed up and are working on a horror movie comic book based on the murders of Kieran. And apparently Audrey has found a new relationship. Now in the latest Scream After Dark special, there was a scene in which it showed the main characters all inside of an airplane. But there's an interesting scene of Kieran being in prison and apparently a new killer wearing the Brandon James mask is in the prison. We're not entirely sure what's going to happen to Kieran, whether this new killer will kill him or will try to let him go. But one of the most interesting parts of the Halloween special is that there is going to be several new characters going to be introduced in the Halloween special. Here we have four new characters that will be introduced in the Halloween special. Alex, Gina, Jeremy, and a girl named Anna. These characters will apparently all make appearances in the Halloween special. We do not know right now what kind of role they will play, but I went to imdb.com and I checked out the whole cast. Apparently there is a character named Jack Duvall, a character that might potentially be a relative of Emma's father Kevin. And who knows if this guy will appear in the Halloween special also. So apparently I heard on the internet that the Halloween special was actually made just in case the show got cancelled. In case there wasn't any season 3, the Halloween special was made to end the show. Now my thoughts on the Halloween special, I'm not entirely sure if it will conclude the, the show. There's a lot that we still don't know about the 1994 murders of Brandon James. There's still some unanswered questions about season 2. With all the aftermath that is going to be shown in the Halloween special, the new characters and what roles will they have, and the past ties to the past and present, everything is going to be too much to be answered in just two hours. Who knows, maybe the Halloween special will conclude the show, or maybe, who knows, maybe the Halloween special is just a prelude for a season 3. From my personal opinion, they should actually make one more season of Scream. A final season in which they actually focus mainly on the past. I would really like it if they could actually make part of season 3 about the past and the rest about the present and how it all relates, how it all gets connected. But even if there isn't a season 3, my thoughts would be, my, my thoughts, they should actually, if MTV decides not to air a season 3, they should actually give the rights and the all of that to Netflix. Netflix has a history for acquiring shows that have been cancelled from airing. So if season 3 can't be aired on MTV, they can just make a season 3 and let it run on Netflix. But yeah, uh, next week after the Halloween special, I am planning on making a review on the Halloween special. I will give you my thoughts and my critique on the Halloween special next week. And hopefully we actually get to see season 3. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya.